friends and family, so I'm introducing you to my new series, Adventure Cats. This is going to be to try and help you and your new furry friend get out on the trails and get try something new. Hi, Mary. Hi! I decided that instead of just leaving him inside, I might as well bring him out to enjoy this beautiful day here at Auburn in one of everybody's favorite parks with one of my favorite people. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, you're enjoying your first time in the park? Oh, my hair looks crazy right now. It feels like a dog. <laughs> to take your cat anywhere that's not inside your house, you're only gonna need a few things. First, you're gonna need a leash, you're gonna need to get them a harness so that they don't run off and maybe bring them a little bit of water so that they don't get dehydrated while they're outside in the heat, especially if they have water. Hey, mom, the wee. Yes. Yes, we met the other night. Yeah. Is that your cat? Yeah, it is. Oh. We thought about doing that, you know, putting ours on a loop. He really likes it. I mean, he doesn't like it when it's windy. It's a handsome. Thank you. He says, I'm one year old and I'm trying to lose some weight. If you encounter people, just be sure to stay calm and make sure that they're okay with seeing a cat. A couple of people are probably going to come up to you because, let's be honest, it's pretty freaking unusual. But just be friendly and everything will go just fine. If your cat loses his skittles at the sound of the garbage man, he's probably not going to be able to handle little kids on a bike, so don't bring him to a park. Show me your knife skills. Check it. Excellent. <laughs> You're so hard to record. Okay, so I'm going to get some pizza because Mary's watching Mars for me on Sanford Lawn. Today's the day that I brought my cat to one of the most popular parks in Auburn, but people are never going to get used to it if you don't do it. And all you need are a few things. They have soft throats, unlike dogs, and so they can't really like have... I um, look so weird. There's so many people out. I'm walking down like the biggest street in Auburn. They can't have like leashes tug on them on their collars because it's bad for their necks and it'll choke them. So you have to use a harness instead. Remember while training your adventure cat that this is supposed to be fun for both of you. If one of you is having a miserable, no good, very bad time, then it's going to be a terrible experience for you both. So just remember, make sure he has fun and happy trails, guys. <laughs>